some of the things that we observed on the, the spot, which may not be obvious to to those of you who are who are uh, looking at them here from the sur surface of Earth. This was a busy time for me in that I was taking uh, these motion pictures through the right-hand window. At the same time, I was taking still photos through the left-hand window and uh, also flying my vehicle and... <laughs> probably poorly. It's uh, quite important not to stub your toe during the final phases of a touchdown. After landing, we felt very comfortable in the lunar gravity. Uh, it, it was, in fact, in, in our view, preferable both to weightlessness and the Earth's gravity. We predicted that we might be ready uh, to leave the land by 8 o'clock, but those of you who followed on the ground recognize we missed our estimate by a good deal. This was the first of a number of times when we found, <laughs> found two men were a great help. I quickly put up the TV camera. <laughs> And then, more leisurely, Buzz and I joined together to uh, erect the American flag. And the ascent was a great pleasure. It was very smooth. Uh, we were very, very pleased to have that engine light up. <laughs> Many simulator runs, we found that this was uh, about as, as perfect a rendezvous as, as we could have asked for. This is Eagle as seen by Columbia, or perhaps half an Eagle would be better since uh, the uh, Lanka. <laughs> although, uh, although we were far from home, we were uh, a lot closer to it than, uh, than the pure distance might indicate. We were uh, Sorry to see the moon go, but we were certainly see, glad to see the Earth return. Was there ever a moment on the moon when either one of you were just a little bit spellbound by what was going on? About two and a half hours. <laughs> whether you felt you were standing in a desert or this was really another world or how you felt at that point? Well, there was no question in our minds where we were. We'd been orbiting around the moon. For quite a while.